it's me. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I'm going to talk to you about the creative process. If you're here at Maker Faire and you come by, I have a little booth out there, which I'm not manning at the moment, and uh, somebody else is. It's uh, showing a solar charger, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the process that I went through to design and be a uh, design the solar charger. So I wanted to do a product that was uh, simple, and a solar panel is pretty simple, and I said, oh, how do you start? I can't draw and everything. You can draw. Just put it on paper. Yes, we still use paper to draw on or to write on, as uh, the one fellow showed us, and I did some little sketches. And even if you paper anyway, see what comes up. The next thing you want to do is create a plan. You need to have some sort of structure so you don't end up with a completely chaotic product and you'll get nothing. List some features, make them noble and lofty. You can always change them, um, but have some sort of a plan. Now, if you wanted to build a house, you wouldn't really design the house by yourself. You'd hire an architect. So why would you design a product by yourself? You would really hire a designer like me or find one to sort of help you at least, to guide you through the process. Once I came up with the basic concept of the solar charger, one of the very first things that I did was I emailed a picture of it and I sent it out to my friends to get some feedback. And you think, oh my God, that's crazy. You're gonna give away your idea and everything. But I really needed the feedback from other people to see if my idea was good. And other people here talked about that, giving things away and not just storing everything and showing it out there. So I went through a lot of models uh, and more and more models. Eventually it came through electronics because the solar panel needs electronics. What does a product designer know about designing electronics? Nothing. I did this little diagram. It probably would have worked, but at some point I got an engineer, a friend of mine, to help me. Another way that this project came about was that I saw what happened in Chile and Haiti and I saw, oh my God, this is crazy. People would walk like 10 miles to the fire station to go charge up their phone because they couldn't call somebody and say, oh, you know, I'm okay. It's, it's a really important thing. At some point, computers come into the pro, uh, process because this is the age we live in. We start modeling things up at the computer. So I flip back and forth between making physical models and making computer models. You can then take those computer models, you can make rapid prototypes, basically you can make a model in an hour, something that would maybe take you a couple of days um, to make it with, with a lot of accuracy. I then go back to making more models, in this case the paper models, but it lets me work things out and solve problems um, such as how to store things, uh, where to put the phone, this thing tips so you can angle it towards the sun. Another thing you want to consider when designing a product, logos, colors, names. I started working on, oh, what's the name of this product? In this case, it ended up being Solar Vox, but in the beginning, I started out with Solar Power, all kinds of things. I then continued to refine the process, working out the little details, the mechanics, the finish, the hinges, the snaps, the color, the material selection, there's a lot of things that go into designing a product and putting it together. There's also a user interface, things you need to know with a product. Every product you ever buy today has a user interface. This is a very, very tough sort of thing, and you also would, might, might want to get a designer to sort of help you with this. These are some working electronics. Uh, first, first stage electronics, we actually started um, the project with a Minty Boost, which some of you may know what that is, and then we added to it um, to sort of work out what this thing is. And so this is very close to what it looks like today, and you can see it out here at Maker Faire. There's a little spot where you can put your phone in there to charge your phone. You can tip this thing and angle it towards the sun. But I want to talk a little bit more about sort of creativity. And the creativity that you have inside it comes from your life experiences. Everywhere you go, everything that you do, whether you uh, go see movies or partake in uh, certain social activities, all that stuff is creative. And we're very lucky here in the United States where we live, we have this tremendous sort of diversity in our society <clears throat> where that is 
a really awesome nucleus that allows us to be creative. So here we are at Make, and I want to encourage you to just do it. If you have an idea, just make it. See what comes out. You can follow some of these basic steps, and hopefully you'll end up with a really nice um, thing. Instead of doing nothing, you did make something. And this is the product. You can actually see it out here at the Baker Fair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.